hello lovelies welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for checking out on this video if you are new here make sure you click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more if you are old here thanks so much for coming back so in this video we're going to do the paint splatter effect in photoshop so let's get into the video all right so the first thing that you have to do is you have to create a document of, or a new document so i'm creating a 1920 by 1080 document so 1080 and then i'm leaving the resolution at 72 just to you know keep my image very small so you click ok when you are done now the first thing that i will do is i'll just go here and add a gradient fill to it to my background so i have the gradient here and i'll left click on it and choose the plain gradient so i'll click ok and then i'll change the style to radial and then i'll reverse it out you see so le let's scale it out a bit to about 400 so let me set it to 400 and then you click ok now what you are going to do is a little bit technical so you have to take your own steps to making something great i, I know this is a tutorial it might differ or it might differ from what you do so you take your time to do something very unique so you add a new layer by clicking on this here and then you go and choose your brush tool so you choose the brush tool and then you make sure that the foreground color here is black now make sure you download the brushes that i've set in the description below if you've not checked it out you have to check it out that is what i'm using over here so I have my first brush over here I'll just select it and then I'll paint it out so I'll paint something like this all right and then I'll right click again and select any other brush let's say a brush from this side so you basically you have to take your time to um, do the brushing yourself so any brush that you you feel like doing like using you can just go ahead and use it out so I'll just fast forward this area until I'm done with the brushing and so here we are this is basically what I've been able to do you can just take your time to do something very better okay so when you're done with this just select all by pressing ctrl and a and then you can position it in the middle like that you can use ctrl T to resize it anyhow you want it all right so after this just go to file and place the image that you want to use so this is the image that i want to use and then you place it out very nicely so use ctrl t and then you resize it very nicely like this afterwards you see that we have something here it means that it is a smart object so you right click on it and then you rasterize the layer right click again and then create a clip masking so that it will be directly into the brush layer that we created so you can position it very nicely like this and then i think it's nice over here so i'll maintain it over here now the next thing that you are going to do is go to image adjustment and then desaturate the image so you will tend to be like a black and white image that has been desaturated okay now the last thing that we will do is add a new layer again go and choose your brush tool but this time around we are going to choose the normal brush tool over here set the hardness to zero and then you can start brushing by choosing any color so the first color that i will choose will come from this side and then i'll click ok so just a single left click will brush it out for me I'll then go again and choose a second color so you can add as many colors as you want at the different places that you want many times as you want right so the last color that I will choose for the day is the light green and then I'll brush it over here so when you have this thing over here with a layer 2 selected let's set the blending option to overlay 
and then you should have something like this right now the beautiful part of this thing is that you can press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and you can saturate it as many times as you want it so any color that you want so i think this is nice and then you click ok so when you are done you can just leave it like this and then the layer 2 that, it, that is the color that we've applied on it will affect the whole of this layer or perhaps you can right click and create a clip masking so that it will affect only the brush and the image that you have so any of them you can just choose and then your work will be done so that is how to create a paint splatter effect in photoshop i hope this video was helpful if it was i hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye